Hey guys, this is Joe Manalone, and uh, just wanted to follow up on the Grunt Jazz tutorial uh, I did just a little while ago, uh, and add in uh, a really cool plugin for Grunt that's gonna uh, even it's gonna make it better than than even what we saw before. Uh, so uh, what we left off with was basically this simple application. Uh, it's got uh, the CSS being derived from the .less file and the JavaScript being derived from the .coffee file. And then we click, we get a little alert. Uh, I've been tinkering with this so right now, so it's really exciting. Um, and then if we want to change that, we say, uh, really boring, we save that, we go over to our directory and we run our grunt command. And that's gonna recompile that and uh, re-render the, uh, the JavaScript file and we click on that. Now it says really boring. Uh, so the only downside to that, because that's, I mean, that's pretty dang cool. I mean, with that, uh, whoops, with that one command, it generated the, uh, the CSS and the, uh, the, J the JavaScript automatically from the coffee and the last file. Uh, the only problem with that is you got to run that grunt command every time you want to make a change. So a really cool and uh, uh, probably you know you can't do without kind of plugin for grunt is the watch plugin. So npm install uh, grunt contrib watch, and of course we're going to save that to our dev dependencies. Whoops. Save dev. Okay. So that's going to go ahead and install the uh, uh, Grunt Watch plugin. And what that's gonna allow us to do is it's gonna allow us to watch a directory. If there's a change, uh, go ahead and, and run the task, whatever the task is. In our case, we just wanna compile the less into CSS or the coffee script into uh, uh, JavaScript. Uh, so if we jump to our Grunt file here, uh, one thing we're gonna have to do is load that NPM task of watch. So that's there. And then what we can do is we can create a new task. And in that new task, so watch, um, it, it takes in an object. And we can do this a couple different ways. Uh, the first one is going to be just passing the files that we want to watch. And in this case, we're going to say the uh, coffee slash coffee files that are all in the coffee directory. And then we're going to say all the less files that are in the less directory and then we're going to give it the tasks that we want to run and in this case they're going to be the ones that we created up above coffee and less so coffee and less and uh, technically we're good to go right there we don't have to register a new task we can but we don't need to uh, the the uh, grunt watch plugin is going to look for that watch task uh, or, or actually, we're just going to tell it to run the watch task, and then it's going to take over from there. So now, if we come back here and we say grunt watch, oh, whoops, oh, sorry, grunt watch, uh, it's going to come back with the thing. It's going to say waiting. So it's waiting for any changes to happen. And so let's, uh, we've got our site there. we got our coffee file here. Let's go back to exciting. We save that, and what happens over here, Oh, it's not happening. Grunt file. Coffee, coffee, less, less. Tasks, coffee, and less. Everything's looking pretty good there. Uh, you know what I did there? I need to have, uh, that's going to be plural for files, not just file. And so if we cancel out of that and run our grunt watch again, uh, we're going to see that it's waiting for a change. If we come over here and say extra, uh, you can see that it registered that there was a change uh, and, and it, it ran the less and the coffee compile uh, task. And if I refresh this, really extra. Okay, so now the only downside to that is that every time we change a coffee file, it's also running the less task. And every time we change a less file, it's also running the coffee task. So what we can do there is uh, we can break this up and we can say we've got one. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create separate objects for each one. So this will be the coffee object. And then we'll have the less uh, object. And these are really what they are is they're uh, separate tasks within the watch task. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop these in there, there, and there. And on this one, we just want to say uh, 
you know, and I didn't bring over that uh, left bracket that's probably sneaking around somewhere, but in this one we're just going to say files and we don't need it to be an array and tasks. Uh, it's just going to be coffee and again we don't need that to be an array. And then on the less task we just need the less files and we don't need that to be an array. And then we need the less task. So now what we're doing is we're saying that if a coffee ch file changes, change or uh, run the, the coffee compile task from above. And if a less file changes, cha uh, run the less task from above. And so let's see how that works. So let's go ahead and restart our watch. Current watch. So now it's waiting. Now if we change this, uh, super, we save that. And what you can see here is that it only ran the compile on the coffee file, not on the less file, which is nice. Uh, so we run that and we get super. And now when we go to our less file and we change this back to a red, we're going to see, uh, oh, that was quick. So the less is compiled, all done. And we refresh here and we got a red back. So that's the uh, watch plugin for Grunt. Uh, it makes, you know, while you're developing and saving files, it's automatically recompiling, running those tasks, whatever those tasks are every time you save. Uh, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.